Hello, hello, everyone. How is everybody doing on here? You know, um, this is our month of consecration, so I will not be doing a lot of videos on couponing. I'm really concentrating on doing these domestic violence videos because it's going on. It is so prevalent in the world today. It's just, I mean, it's just every day you hear about someone being abused, someone being shot, someone being killed. It's, it's usually a woman. We used to hear about the women. We don't so much always hear about the men that's being abused, but there are some men also being abused. So that's what I'm going to, um, it's just some things I'm going to talk about. And um, earlier today, uh, some of my family members was, was over and we was talking about the domestic violence. And, you know, they have questions. How could you stay? Why would you stay? It's easier said than done. And until you walk in these shoes of mine, then whoo, I can't begin to tell you, um, you know, how it was. Just, you know, it was just, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I thank God for the time that I get, did get out. Because we as women, when we get sick and tired of being sick and tired, oh, that's it. You can. I mean, but some women are strong. What is that? Longevity. Your longevity. I think that's the word I'm trying to say. It's longer than others because some women, honey child, you hit me one day. I'm done. I'm gone. Some women, 5, 10, 15, 20 years. One lady was talking about that she was in it for 20 years. I don't think I was in it that long, but I will let you know in almost a roundabout time that it took me actually to get out completely out of the relationship when I finally got sick and tired of being sick and tired. So, and you know, just wanted to say, um, domestic violence. Um, and you know, of course I always have notes, so I'm, I'll be going back and forth for my paper. Um, but I remember this stuff. So, but, um, domestic violence can happen to anyone it doesn't matter your race. It doesn't matter your religion. It doesn't matter your income level. It does not matter your education. If you can be the best of the best, actresses, actors, it does not matter. We see it on TV. We hear the news. We need, read the newspapers. It happens all the time. And um, I always say, I don't know what's worse, verbal or uh, what verbal, mental, or the actual physical abuse. You know, I always say with the physical abuse, you know, you can hit me and I'm back up. But that mental abuse, that gets in your mind. And that's how, I believe that's how some women stay in it for so long because of just the mental abuse of them, um, the intimidation um, that they give, lack of support. Oh, ain't nobody going to be for you. You might as well stay here. Well, I have to tell you that story, what happened to me several times, um, no help. The, who are you going to go to? Because they want to know why you keep going back when you decide to go back. Why do you go back? Um, loneliness. Who wants to be alone? Nobody wants to be alone. Everybody wants somebody. Everybody got to have somebody. Um, usually the man will intimidate. Like I said, intimidate the woman. Letting them, uh, uh, and you know, his, his, especially if he's the working person in the family, um, you try to go out here and get help. They want to know where the man at. Well, ma'am, he ain't here. He just abused me and I'm trying to get away from him. Um, it, um, somebody was saying, it's almost like slavery. It's almost like you're a slave. You got to go home to master. Master beat you like he want to beat you. And you got to go right back. You got to take it. You got to deal with it. And, you know, some of us, we think about our children like, man, I don't want to uh, be a single parent raising my children. Who? Nobody wants to be a single parent. Nobody wants to be by themselves. So um, why do we just... And then another question is, how do we decide to leave? What do we have to come up with? What are some... Some things that we have to come up with to leave. I, honey child, it's, I, I don't know if it's planning. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I, 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 planning, saving money. When he give you money, take two dollars. 
out of the five dollars that he gave you to go buy the groceries or whatever. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, that part, I don't know because my story was different, but everybody's story is different. Everybody's story is different. Uh, why you get sick and tired of just being plain sick and tired. All right. I have talked enough for tonight. It is, oh, excuse me, way in the midnight. Well, it ain't way in the midnight hour, but um, I truly thank God for everyone for listening to subscribing, to listening to me. And this helps me that I just, you know, come into realization that this is really helping me. And I pray tell that I can stick it out um, until the end to keep going with these videos. And I, like I said, I hope I've helped somebody. All right, everybody, th don't forget that prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we come to you as humbly as we know how. Father, I ask you to touch the women, women or men that's out there being abused. Father, touch their hearts and their minds. Father, that they would come up with a conclusion, come up with something to get out of that relationship. But Lord, we ask that you help them. Father, we ask that you give them strength, Lord Jesus. Father, even the abuser, Lord, the one that's doing the abusing, Lord, stop their hands right in their track when they go to do whatever it is, Lord, that they're doing. Father, lead them and guide them, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, save their hearts, save their minds, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you, and Father, we bless your wonderful name. Thank God, amen and amen.